right, so I'm gonna do a continuation of the uh, EDC truck gear video, part two, what is in the bed of my truck. Um, but first, real quick, hmm, that may get loud, we'll see. Uh, first, I'm gonna do, show what's basically keeping my get home bag secure. People are asking about it. This is how it usually is in here with the pack safe wrapped around it. Um, I didn't have that in my video last time because I had actually just got this thing out and was getting some stuff out of it. But this is the normal setup. So it'll help um, with the uh, casual smash and grabber. Um, it's on, you can't really see it, but tied in my seat here. Um, so someone could get it with a wrench or a pair of uh, wire cutters, but for the casual guy, uh, it's pretty secure in there. And let me go ahead and grab this from this guy so it's not loud the whole video. Got it. Sorry, bud. And man, I could not believe how many people, actually they're kind of dirty again, but I did uh, spray these out. These are WeatherTech mats. And I got about 100 comments in the last video just reaming me for having a dirty truck. Uh, I guess people have never seen a truck that's used like a truck, especially one that lives in the mountains. And this is my driveway. But whatever. That was like the most disliked video that I've ever had in my life too, I think. But let's just get into it here. Um, so better my truck, I probably should have cleaned out too because people will probably be offended by a dirty truck bed as well. Um, but here I have a uh, Tiger soft tonneau cover. So it's a uh, trifold and it's just attached or locked down with these little guys up in here. So this video may be a little harder to do one handed than the inside of the uh, truck, but we'll give it a go. So it folds up like that. And it comes off pretty quick too if I need full, full bed access. But a lot of times this is, this is all I need because I'll load this up and have uh, two by fours and plywood and drywall coming up from the side. Um, anyway, here we go. So I have one of these tubs. Oh, convenient, I have the sticker on it. Plano Sportsman's Trunk. Um, these things are great. So this is my uh, summer load out here, which has basically nothing in it. It's basically an empty tub. And we'll look in here. I have a pair of socks, some old running shoes, and a tarp. And that's it. That's it that's in this trunk. But these things are so good. And sorry, this filming's probably gonna be even worse than the other one. But these things are just durable. So I'll just. Awesome, awesome little trunks. Fairly weatherproof. No o ring, but they do have kind of a uh, U-channel seal here. So you're not gonna get water in here if it's in the bed of your truck. Um, and then I have a rubber mat and that's mostly just so stuff doesn't slide around back here when I'm driving around. And let's just kind of go piece by piece back here, I guess. Oh, actually my uh, shovel isn't in here because I just used it to stir some concrete. Let me go grab it real quick. So here it is, this little shovel um, you know, it's an actual shovel, but it's tiny, but for light work, it'll be better than nothing. And I keep it back here in these uh, monkey fists. So let me hop up in the bed here. So if you're a wheeler or anything, you'll probably know about monkey fists because they make high lift uh, jack mounts and stuff like that. So this is a mount by this company called, I think, Relentless Fabrication and with two monkey fists on it. So this has my axe, Fisker's axe, and I'll go ahead and link to all this stuff in the uh, video description. So this is an axe, and then my shovel goes there as well. Back here we have a Rotopax, also in, I, I believe, Relentless Fabrication mount. Uh, this is the two gallon gas fuel. Um, Mine doesn't have a lock, but these are lockable as well. You can buy lock uh, little dials on them, but I'm not too worried about it back here. Um, I added a handful of these things throughout, um, little kind of like D, D ring type things. And I just used existing bolts to bolt them on because I use my truck like a truck. 
I need to tie down stuff all the time. And the more tie downs I have, the better. So I can link to these two. I kind of got these generic ones, but they are plenty tough and durable and they're great. Uh, I have the bed rails and these little, I don't even know what they're called. They came from the factory um, and they're adjustable. You can slide them up and down the rail. This is for the tonneau cover. And yeah, I have one of these little S beaners just to hook uh, grocery bags or whatever. And then one of these big ones over here. Here I have a fire extinguisher on another monkey fist. This is a little dangly, so I'm not sure about this mount. I've had it in there for a few months, um, but I may try and think of a better, more secure solution. Uh, I mean, it's holding up fine, but I just don't really like the idea of it being able to bounce around much. Um, and that's really it as far as things you can see. Here's a piece of PEX. Just, I don't know, it's back here. In here, I keep some paracord just tied to this all the time and I use it to cinch stuff down. So I just use trucker's hitch all the time with paracord to tie stuff down. Um, if the load's a little more serious, I'll use one or two of these um, just ratcheting cinch down guys. So it's in this little pocket over here. The bed of the Tacoma, if you guys are wondering, has a little outlet back here. I believe it's a 400 watt. And then this side has another storage compartment um, and they actually sell a lockable storage compartment here. I just haven't upgraded to it yet because I don't keep anything of real value back here because even though the tailgate is lockable, um, the fabric tanu, which is covered in pollen dust right now, man, I'm going to, people are going to yell at me for my tanu cover being dirty. Um, you could just cut right through that if you wanted to. So I don't keep things of value really back here. Um, here I just have a bag with some various tie downs and bungees and stuff like that. And then I keep a couple of red flags in here. So if I'm carrying a load that's sticking out the back a lot. Um, and that's really it, you know, there's not a whole lot back here. Um, that's the bed. Oh, so I do have, like I said, a summer tub and a winter tub. Um, and my winter tub has a lot more, so I probably won't do another one of these in the winter. So maybe I'll just show the winter tub right now. So it's in here, I believe. All right, so this is a different tub, a cheaper one, just like a Walmart one. It's a little bigger. And in here, I keep some more winter specific supplies. Um, some snow and ice melt, an extra bottle of windshield washer, uh, anti-freeze so it doesn't freeze. So it's good down to negative 20. And it never really gets below that in Colorado ever. I mean, rarely gets below zero. Uh, these are for my tire chains and tire chains and a little ice scraper and a pair of gloves. Um, I usually keep a pair of winter boots in here also. And those are just in the house right now because I was using them for something. But yeah, so winter tub, summer tub, and then everything else you saw in the video. Um, I'll link to some of that stuff because people are always curious. Oh man, this is dirty too. I'm going to get yelled at. And that's pretty much it. Bed of the Tacoma. This is the five foot short bed, um, which has ample space, space for pretty much everything I need it for. Um, I was thinking about getting the long bed, but just didn't really like how it looked as much and it'd be a little more unruly to park and all that stuff. And the reason I got the Tacoma really was because it was small. Otherwise I would've got like an F-150 or something. So that's it, five foot bed. I use it a lot for a truck, truck duty. Uh, and that's it. If you have any recommendations for things I should get in here, put in here, uh, let me know in the uh, video comments. Also, if you have any questions about what's in the truck, I have a whole nother video about that, much longer than this one. And cool, thanks for watching, and thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you guys later. Well, uh, also tomorrow morning, I'm actually gonna go, where's my camera so I'm not like looking crazy. So tomorrow I'm gonna go on a uh, ruck with my get home bag and these shoes and see if it all works out. All right, um, I think like a 12 to 15 mile hike, kind of going the route of my normal uh, location, my, my normal path home from like my office. So to kind of simulate a SHTF scenario, I'm gonna actually use 
only what I have in my truck currently and in my bag and pack that in and hike up with a buddy. Um, so if you have any recommendations, if you've done that, I haven't really done it with my actual stuff. I've backpacked a ton and stuff, but never did like an actual get home with my get home bag and what I have in my car. So we'll see if my shoes work. We'll see if my pack's all right. Um, kind of curious to see, uh, how that all works. And if you guys have ever done that, actually tested your gear, let me know, maybe give me some feedback, uh, some things I should be aware of before I go just in case. All right. See ya.